Good morning guys, I now have at least one new battery charger. I think I now have two that is actually charged, so we'll see how we do for this first part of the day. So after having some breakfast, uh, I'm hopefully come over here and catch the boat over to Magic Kingdom to catch a boat to Fort Wilderness. So that is the plan at the current moment. How beautiful is this? Changing my mind, I'm gonna go over here and go down catch the monorail because it happens every three minutes. And so that's a lot quicker than waiting on this boat. I think once the boat's coming right now, which is, but, uh, I don't know what to do. Should I take the monorail? Let's go take the monorail. The tip, I think, uh, that typically the, if you grab the boat on the, I thought I might go quicker because it's right here at our room, but I think I'm gonna go on over here to the monorail because the boat's we're moving very, very, very slowly. So typically the boats, they'll pick up at Grand Floridian and go over to Polynesia, then over to Magic Kingdom. So it's a longer boat experience, but if you want to grab the boat from Magic Kingdom, then Grand Floridian is your first stop. So it works out good. Okay, so the monorail though, if you grab on the monorail, this is your actual first stop when you're headed to Magic Kingdom. So works out pretty good. So I'm gonna head over here to the monorail. A little difference is just look the walk over there, so I hope I'm not making a really bad choice. But I know the monorail's quicker anyway, so head over there to Magic Kingdom on the monorail, then grab the boat for wilderness. So I feel like it takes forever as far as transportation goes. Um, and that's kinda, I wish I could just get like an Uber probably, but I could, I know I could, but like, it costs extra money as well, so. All right, let's go back through the most beautiful lobby ever. Look at the line for the breakfast at Grand Floridian, it's really great. I think I made a good deal because I believe that boat right there that just arrived and just disembarked would have been the boat I would have been on and I'm already here in line for Fort Wilderness Campground, of course, by myself. But apparently, here comes my boat. Yes, here comes my boat. So, hopefully gonna head over to Fort Wilderness so that actually works out great. Um, I did look and it looks like the horseback riding maybe doesn't start till 10, which is like kind of a bummer. Um, Cause I don't think I can actually find out if there's any availability until 10. So I think I'll head over to the bike rental area, ask them about riding a bike to the front, see how far that is, um, to see about checking out the horses there, um, and then maybe calling them. I don't know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll answer the phone. I don't know. So, all right. So yeah, we're excited for a non-park day. Um, we have had a day at Magic Kingdom. Now I've got, I will link all those videos down below, and we are staying at the Grand Floridian. So I'll link down my resort tour as well down below in my room tour. Ready for my private boat over to the We really want to open the boat, but we're going to work on it. Let's head over to Fort Wilderness and have a beautiful view on the way there. It's a gorgeous day. There is the wedding pavilion. So if you want to get married, that's one of the many locations you could choose. That would be a super expensive, but look at that gorgeousness. It's actually based off the hotel, I think off of Jekyll Island, I believe. Yeah, so it's like a country club that is on the beach. So that's where that the view and the inspiration of that hotel came from. And we also passed by Discovery Island. Okay. Was, that's where the country was, and then just go to Alice. Alright, let's head over to Fort Wilderness. Go to the bike bar, and I think. Okay, so the settlement trading post doesn't open until 11, so I hope that's not where I have to rent a bike from. I know the ranch opens at 10, so we'll see if I can find out where they rent bikes. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. That is recreation area. Okay. The Fort Wilderness people were not super friendly. The lady at the Charles Inn was not super friendly, and the bus driver there was not super friendly. So, if they wanted to make it a little bit more easier for people to find, they could probably like have better signage or something. Uh, but yeah, apparently bike barns over here. 
as well as like a pool and all kinds of stuff and a volleyball court. It's a lot of recreation stuff over here. I don't know how far it is to the horseback riding area. I'd like to ride a bike there, but it could be miles. And if I want to get on horseback riding anything, I don't know if I need to get back on that bus. So it's a little bit confusing, but there's the bus stop. So, and it's almost 10 o'clock <laughs> just for me to get over here. It's like, like an hour. So, yeah, but anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find this bike barn. But it is a super beautiful day today. This may be the main pool, actually. Another playground, volleyball courts. Here's where the Chippendale Chip Campfire Sing Along happens. I mean, it's okay. Like, we did it one time, which is something good that you could do if you're not going to the park, but it's not like that really cool. <laughs> they came out for like five seconds. Uh, I'll check, I'll link down a, I will put a link down below of the Campfire Sing Along. Oh, look, there's your splash rod. New plan doing a kayak. It's only a three quarter mile loop, which is super exciting. Didn't even know what that was a thing. Watch out for alligators and snakes, of course, but. This is beautiful. A uh, little bit nerve wracking though, because of the alligator possibility and mainly because of the snake possibility. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. That is definitely an alligator, but it's super, super, super small. That is definitely an alligator. Look how close I am to this alligator. Oh my gosh, but it's super, super, super tiny, so probably okay. But it's really murky water, so if you're really nervous, which I'm a little bit nervous, this may not be the place to be, um, but it's really easy paddling though. So uh, if you're an experienced kayaker, it's not super like thrilling, but you don't want to be one to like turn over in here. I would not want to do that. So, all right, let's keep headed down keep heading down so we're racing an alligator. <laughs> this is a three quarter mile loop and they give you a little map. So this is so cool. If you're checking out, here's where they tell you that you have to take a left and it's very obvious that you can't go that way. So it even says boat path. So look at this. I mean, it's just like, it's like being on like a cruise ship doing your kayaking there. So beautiful little, but you are kind of like going upstream the whole time. So, hoping I don't see a snake. But this is gorgeous. Definitely kind of getting wet. <laughs> Hear that? That is a wild eagle, a bald eagle. Super hard to hold the camera. <laughs> Do this same time. Little bit more sketchy through here but it's still really pretty and it feels like you're literally on your own out here which is cool but terrifying at the same time so here's your map thought i was in trouble here but no that's the dead end so i should continue on that way not as nice here and then look at that bridge so ugh. through here you got the campers on both sides so that's kind of cool again i'll give it straight burn and so and it was really quite reasonable for sure um i haven't uh, it was pretty fun yeah I liked it but I was like that last little strip was like you were paddling directly over um, logs so I felt like I was just like pedaling paddling through like snakes so I don't know if like maybe Florida is not the place I want to kayak because I am nervous about snakes and especially the water moccasin that could be in there but I didn't see any snakes so no worries about that so if you're okay adventurous not worried about snakes then this is fantastic but if you're like terrified of snakes kind of like I am um, then you might want to reevaluate if you're wanting to do this or not. It's my turn. But yeah, it was only nine dollars and five cents for what I did, so that was amazing. So, and it was a three-quarter mile loop, so it took me yeah, it took me probably about forty-five minutes or so to do, and I definitely stopped a lot to take video if I could. It's really hard to keep a video though because. It's pretty narrow, and so if I like, if I stop paddling, it would just like get a turn. So, 
yeah, felt like it was, it was like really fun. My arms are definitely hurting uh, because it does, it's kind of seems like it's upstream the whole way, but I know it's, it can't be, but I'm just willing a little bit. Which made it really, really nice. And I was able, now you do have to put the kayak in and out yourself. Um, so it's not heavy, don't worry about that. But like, I plan to go horseback riding possibly today. So I think I'm gonna head up to the front still and see, because I have all the time. Um, but so I was wearing tennis shoes. So I definitely recommend wearing like some Crocs or something that if you had to get your feet wet, wouldn't be a big deal. But I actually was able to not get my feet wet um, at all, which is really amazing. Whenever you bring the kayak back up, just make sure you get like some speed to go into the beach and then it should slide pretty close up there so you don't have to just like get out in the water. So definitely don't have to do that. Now the water itself, pretty murky. Like definitely wouldn't want to swim in that. So again, if you're not really, if you've never kayaked before, this may not be the best place to learn to kayak, uh, just because the water is not so great if you did fall over. But if you've never kayaked before, it's really not hard. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not hard to like stay up, especially if you're just by yourself. Now, now if you have two people, that can be kind of challenging because you don't know how to deal with their uh, different movements and the weight and stuff. But on your own, it's really not hard at all. But let's go check to see if we can get a bus and head up towards the front. So I told them that I saw the alligator on the thing, so now they have to call somebody. I feel bad for that. Sorry, cast member. Uh, they have to call somebody to have them come out and check um, about the alligator, probably relocate it, um, if they can still find it, but I bet it might be in the water at this point now, but yeah. I mean, and that's really a good thing because you don't need to be having in a really populated area like this, it's good not to have a full grown alligator as well. So we'll see, I just saw a bus, like before I got over here, take off, we'll see how long until the next bus comes. This is so confusing. It looks like I can get on the, either the yellow or the orange bus to get here to the outpost. So if I walk, this is against the bus stop here. Tells you everything to have. This is at the settlement and then this is at the meadow which where we were just at. Your recreation equipment, tennis courts, meadow snack bar. Okay, pretty cool. Especially if you're staying here, this would definitely be an area you're gonna want to be close to. You. These buses are a disaster out here. So apparently I have to get on the other one going the other way. So I think I'm gonna miss the 11 o'clock horseback ride even if they had it because it's taking so long to get anywhere. It's a disaster. So I still haven't seen a bus and then walking. I don't think I wanna make the 11 o'clock horseback ride even to see if I can get on because of the bus. I waited like 25 minutes. I should have just started walking. Um, and then there was a bus there and it was going the other direction. So just a problem here with the buses at Fort Wilderness and general buses, general Disney World. So I'm still gonna walk to the outpost. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, but I hope I am. I'm not the only person on this path, so we'll see what we can do. And if not, we'll just start heading back over to Grand Floridian. It takes like an hour to get back over there anyway. So all the buses are piled up over here. <sighs> Unbelievable. I saw the horse crossing signs, but we're getting kind of close. There's the horses there. I really hope that they'll let me go, but may not happen this trip. 